Hey, how you doing? This is Patrick Duff coming to you for Rabble Rouser Media, serving you up delicious scoops of corru corruption from where the sun doesn't shine. And it surely doesn't shine on the 990 forms of the Joker, Kevin. So bet, uh, we remember Sabet from our last installment here. If you didn't read this, go back and read it. It tells you a little bit of history. Well, I gotta fix that. that, that that's not good. Doesn't look good like that. But, uh, yeah, it tells you a little bit of history about him, but it also tells you that uh, Mr. Sabet was involved with some pretty big wig people in New Jersey. Um, as the um, fake governor of New Jersey, my name is Phil Murphy, the governor of New Jersey. I can say that the <clears throat> What I'm about to tell you is uh, true. So here's what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of show you how this, this works. I'm going to go through this with you real quick. Um, Kevin Sabet is a member of several nonprofit organizations, as you can see here. One of the pro profits or nonprofits is a DEA educational foundation. The other is an unknown organization. Um, that's the one that we're going to focus on for this video. And then there was one uh, for Sam Inc. and also one for Sam Action. Um, so he's the member or the on the board or a trustee of at least four different nonprofits as of the year two, 2016, as you can see there. So we're going to go into uh, the, organi the unknown organization, um, which that's kind of odd, unknown organization. But the reason why it was an unknown organization was because it was formed, if you can see over here, the Alliance for Healthy Marijuana Policy uh, was, the initial return was the same as the terminated return, meaning that when they filed this return, which we'll take a look at the date on the filing, uh, which I believe is somewhere around November, yeah, 11, 15 of November, uh, I mean, sorry, the 15th of November, 2017. So this was filed uh, a year after, this was a year, it was almost a year after 2016 when this was actually filed. So who, who is this organization? Um, their name is the Healthy, the Alliance for Healthy Marijuana Policy. And we see that a woman named Anne Marie Schaefer is the, uh, is the person that founded the um, the nonprofit. And let's take a look and see what kind of money came into this place. So looks like they had about two million dollars to start out with there, and uh, at the beginning of two thousand, or however they began their corporation, which we'll find out in a little bit. They began August twenty sixth of two thousand and sixteen. Um, and they dissolved it on December 27th of 2016. So they were in operation for about four months and one day. And in that four months and one day, you'll see here this 262,000 number. That is how much grants they gave to a corporation that we're going to be talking about soon. Um, and then also you can see their other expenses. That's 99,000. Okay. 95,000 of that 99,000 was actually spent on advertising. So I don't know if you've ever heard of the Alliance for uh, Healthy Marijuana Policy, uh, but I haven't. <laughs> and uh, if they did $95,000 of advertising within a three or four month period, um, I probably would have heard about them, but uh, we didn't. And they had another $4,000 of expenses uh, for the company, bringing a total for the expenses and, and grants of 361000 but they did have $1.6 million left over. So what happens to that 1.6 million at the end of the delusion, dissolution of this of this corporation? Um, let's take a look here. So we can see that actually she had somebody in uh, Emory had somebody in San Diego file the paperwork for, her. and let's see who the officers of the company are and who works there. There's two people listed: oh, Kevin Sabet and Anne Marie Schaefer. Now, the thing is about Anne Marie is I found her several places. Um, she is a member of a, uh, a rehab organization. She's the director of a rehab, uh, which is a big surprise because it seems that that's Kevin's main funder besides um, the, uh, the pharmaceutical industry that we've been told about on other forums and blogs. But let's take a look here. 
we're going to take a nice little looky poo through these little forms here because something's going to stand out. It's going to stand out big time. All right, here we are. So it looks like what they did was gave 50,000, 50,000, 50,000, 50,000, 45,000, and 12,000 to Mainers Protecting Our Youth and Communities. Well, Mainers Protecting Our Youth and Communities, and they give 267,000 to this group, who, by the way, uh, when you try to find uh, the Mainers uh, for Protecting Youth, uh, protect, Protecting Our Youth, they're nowhere to be found on any 990 forms. So you can't even find them. So whoever they donated to, I don't even know. Um, and you can see here that they have a, a representative that was speaking on their behalf named Scott Gagnon. Now, Scott Gagnon, when you look up Scott Gagnon, um, you'll find that Scott Gagnon is uh, affiliated with um, a rehab. And there he is, Scott Gagnon. So that's who got the money from the $267,000 from the organization that was founded by a Anne Marie Schaefer that Kevin Sabet sits on the board of. And then what's even more interesting, and I think the most interesting about this, is that uh, $1.29 million of BMO stock, see that BMO stock? is transferred, right, along with four, $468,000 in cash is transferred over to Sam Action, Inc. Now, why would one transfer all their money over to Sam Action, Inc.? Let's see what's going on here at the end here. Okay, this will tell us a little story of. All right. It says, Kevin A. Sabet founded Alliance for Healthy Marijuana Policies, Inc., on August 26 of 2016, Kevin A. Sabet was executive director of AHMP. Anne Marie Schaefer was chair of the board of director of AMH, AHMP. Anne Marie dissolved AHMP on December 27, 2016, because the organization's mission is similar to Sam Action to promote self, uh, social welfare. And it says AHMP transferred all of its funds to Sam Action Inc. upon its dissolution. Kevin Sabet is the president of Sam Action Inc. Uh, AHMP transferred 468,000 in cash um, to Sam Action and 18,124 shares of Bank of Montreal stock to Sam Action. Uh, so if we see here the date that they say, this the date, August 26th, right? You see that date right there? So the date August 26th, Pretty funny because when you when you try to find Anne Marie out there, um, let's do a little searching for Anne Marie. So let's see. Look, Anne Marie is the director of recovery support services at the Center for Prevention and Counseling. So she's the actual director of this company and um, she formed a nonprofit with Kevin Sabet where they dissolved the nonprofit and he basically got 1.6 million dollars uh, to go into his corporation uh, or organization Sam Action. Now that's what's interesting is this. This is the most interesting I think of everything. I mean the money is kind of overwhelming and where did it go and all that stuff and why is this woman giving to him? But maybe maybe she had a dream. Maybe her dream was to one day, one day meet Fredo Cuomo. I mean, uh, Chris Cuomo. You can see here, if my uh, if the coronavirus gets off my screen, uh, that's <clears throat> Anne Marie along with Chris Cuomo of CNN. Now, when we read this article, you know it's kind of a feel-good article, you know. Uh, Anne Marie Schaefer was chauffeured in a Mercedes sedan from her Branchville home to Manhattan, to the Manhattan studio headquarters of CNN, which on Wednesday night hosted a town hall meeting with the Green Party's presidential and vice presidential candidates. Now, 
This was eight days before this organization was filed, right? This 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 um, alliance organization. Look, posted August nineteenth, two thousand sixteen. You see that at two a.m. So so literally, somehow, this is posted a half an hour. Ready? Right, I'll show you. Half an hour after this woman gets home, because she's down here even says it. Afterward, Schaefer said she 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 uh, she made small talk with Stein. Uh, oh no, I, I got it. This this is even better. This is the, this is the best. Yeah, she arrived home at 1.30 a.m., not having not eaten dinner, but with some special memories, including a brief pre-broadcast pep talk from Cuomo, CNN's morning host. He said to me, own your moment, which was nice, Schaefer said. Schaefer, in introducing herself to Cuomo, noted a mutual acquaintance of hers, or of her of, uh, acquaintance, her cousin, Anthony Lucarelli, used to play basketball with a group at the gym that included Cuomo. That connection played no role in her imitation. Here we go, goes, here we go, folks. For the town hall, CNN sought a representative of the Anti-Marijuana Legalization Project, SAM. The acronym stands for Smart Approaches to Marijuana. Schaefer, a 55-year-old mother of two, knows the organization's co-founder, Kevin Sabet. Through their mutual advocacy, they met four years ago. He called me Monday and invited me to go on the show, she said of Sabet, who in 2009 to 2011 was a senior advisor to the White House for national drug policy. How scary is that? That guy was in the White House and they couldn't figure him out. They left Branchville at 5.15 p.m. Wednesday. Their CNN-issued Mercedes was stocked with bottled water and mints, she said. <laughs> so, look, this woman who is the director of a rehab uh, eight days prior to forming this corporation that they don't file for for another year. They didn't even file until a year after this corporation was dissolved. 11 months, let me be more exact. A corporation that was dissolved and somehow uh, Kevin Sabet's organization collected $1.6 million dollars well, what's going on there? And what's going on with these mariners protecting our youth and communities? Um, how did they get $267,000 and you can't find them anywhere uh, in the uh, 990 search? So let's take a look. We got their, their name up there. Let's see if we can find them. Maine Community Foundation, Inc. Is this who they are? That's not who they are. Let's put some quotes on their name. That'll help us narrow down. There they are in Sam Action. And uh, you can, that's a phone number for the Portland Press Herald, I think. Ooh, that's funny, parents opposed for pot. We're gonna be talking about them soon. They also don't like to file their, um, their 990 forms. But as you can see here, when you look them up, they're mariners protecting our youth and communities doesn't have any 990 forms. So let's look in, in Maine. Let's go to Maine, right? Look them up. Keywords, let's just put their name in it. Oh, they're not found? What do you mean, you're not even an organization? How are you getting $260,000? Let's go in here and see if you're an organization in ProPublica. See if you're a nonprofit. If you've ever filed your paperwork. Oh, no organization found? Then who did you guys give this money to? Where did the money for Mariner, M Mainers protecting our youth and communities go to? Let's make sure I didn't spell it wrong. And what I'll do is I'll take off community. All right. And see, maybe they, maybe they put it 
under a different name and they left communities out. No, they're not there. How about here? Take communities off. Searching, searching. No organizations found. So where did the nine or the two hundred and sixty-seven thousand go? Why did Anne Marie Schaefer, who's the director of the uh, centers, uh, let's let's see her again here and see what she was director of, so we know exactly the Center for Prevention and Counseling. So this is <clears throat> Anne Marie Schaefer is the uh, director for about us, so we can find a picture of her without Chris Cuomo. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Rabble Rousal Media again rousing. Uh, some news that was not um, known prior to such. Uh, next is this guy. I'm going to be telling you guys about the Massachusetts Prevention Alliance that is linked with Kevin Sabet and Tom Vega. Who's Tom Vega? Who's Heidi Heilman? We'll find out next.